Thank you. Um, before I start, I just want to uh, recognize uh, the late John McSock, who was uh, founding president of Ketong uh, Mutiny New Association, who uh, convinced me that at my young age I should really get involved in Inuit languages. Um, you have to understand that my generation, um, at five years old, a lot of us were um, sent off to the residence. I was a uh, unilingual Inuk speaking at the time. And 12 years later, I was unilingual English speaking when I graduated from Sir John. <coughs> and it's taken uh, for some of us a long time to uh, uh, regain our language, especially in my region, Ketakmut. I think uh, the problem we have is is that we we have to be uh, proactive in developing our uh, Inuit language. Right now, I'm not happy with uh, what I call the academics and linguists hijacking the uh, the language debate in Nunavut, whether it should be. Uh, one written language or or standardization of our lang uh, Inuit languages. And I think it's important that we as, or the leaders of the, uh, of the four main uh, Inuit groups, you have to take control of these uh, issues. Because when, when you have been observing Kaplanad uh, and, and we be on how they want to demand control of uh, the language. I think you know that uh, the issue is going to get lost. What's more important is that we, as Inuit, we have our language. We can standardize it. We can develop a, a school curriculum around it. But it has to be taken control by, by the Inuit leadership. Otherwise, uh, when you hand over anything to the government sometimes, sometimes it comes out all different. And I think it's important that we um, continue to uh, maintain control of the direction that the Inuit language is going. The options that we have are many. The, uh, the uh, teachings of our uh, uh, Inuktitut uh, teachers. I think it's in, it's in our realm that we, uh, we can take control of it and we can manage it. But we also know that government of Nunavut, in our case, has the language control. And I think it's important for them to understand that we have to be in, totally involved in the whole process of uh, discussion, discussing the, um, the Inuit language. Just because in Nunavut alone we have 18 different dialects, when we're negotiating the land claims, the federal government wanted to know what language were, were we going to be using. And we always said Inuktitut. And yet, when uh, we started negotiating Inuit rates, of course that language issue died again. They wouldn't, they wouldn't handle it. They, could, they didn't know how to deal with it. So again, it's put back to our table, and I think it's important that education, it's important to uh, continue the, the dialogue to move towards standardizing the Inuit language and to be able to uh, ensure that our young people Young Inuit are going to take advantage of uh, the language because I think it uh, keeps us together in terms of who we are. And most of all, we need teachers. We need a lot of teachers to, if we are going to implement the uh, education system for our young people, we have to have ensure that uh, we have Inuktitut teacher or Inuktitut teacher at every grade instead of just grade K to 6. I think it's important to 
continue that dialogue with our young people to uh, ensure that you learn as much as you can and that you uh, take advantage of the two lifestyles that we, we are now beginning to uh, enjoy in our lives, Inuit and Kabbalah Nahtetun. Kona.